Hey friends and welcome in to A Walk Through the Word, Daily Bread with Crystal Fry. I am your host, Crystal Fry, and today we're getting some encouragement straight from Jesus as we look at the calling of Matthew in Matthew chapter 9, verses 9 through 13. Thank you for being here with me today, and I pray that you will listen with an open heart to hear the Word of God speaking to you. All right, friends, let's dive in. God's Word is powerful. The missing link is our identity in Christ. When we know who we are and who He created us to be, that is when we can truly walk in freedom. You are never alone. There is hope, and that hope is Jesus Christ. Today we're looking at Matthew chapter 9, verses 9 through 13, which read, As Jesus went on from there, he saw a man named Matthew sitting at the tax collector's booth. Follow me, he told him, and Matthew got up and followed him. While Jesus was having dinner at Matthew's house, many tax collectors and sinners came and ate with him and his disciples. When the Pharisees saw this, they asked his disciples, Why does your teacher eat with tax collectors and sinners? Verse 12, On hearing this, Jesus said, It is not the healthy who need a doctor, but the sick. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. For I have not come to call the righteous, but sinners. Friends, Jesus came to call you and me because we are sinners. I consider this to be a great encouragement. Y'all, we're on the list. And despite what some may think to the contrary, the list of righteous, the list of righteous people is actually empty. No names on that list. Ecclesiastes 7.20 tells us there is not a righteous man on earth who does what is right and never sins. And Romans 3.23 tells us that all have sinned and fall short of the glory of God. Friends, Jesus didn't come to call the righteous because there aren't any Which is actually pretty awesome when you think about it, because that means that Jesus came to give every single person on the planet a personal invitation to follow him. Isn't that something to be encouraged about? No matter what your past looks like, no matter how many times you've tripped and fallen into sin, no matter how many disappointments and judgments, no matter where you are in your life right now. There is an invitation from Jesus with your name on it, and he's inviting you to follow him. Now, I don't know about you, friend, but that makes me excited. That stirs up the hope in me about what is possible during the time and space that we rent on this planet. Because once you accept his invitation, you then have the opportunity to help him deliver invitations to every person you come into contact with. Wait, what? How? Friend, through the way you live your life. Listen, everyone isn't designed to be an evangelist like Billy Graham, but your life should be a testimony to the goodness of God and the blessing of grace and salvation through Christ. Jesus is the only doctor who can heal the sin-sick soul. And we have the opportunity and the ability to hand out referrals to everyone we meet. He's accepting new patients all day, every day. And you don't even need health insurance. You don't even need an appointment. He sees all people from all places, from all backgrounds, from all ethnicities, from all social statuses, 
from all economic statuses, from all walks of life. There are no restrictions on who can come to see him. And how awesome is that? And, but wait, there's more. (laughs) His office hours are 24-7, 365, and he will travel to wherever you are. You don't have to wait for an appointment. He's ready whenever you are. But maybe you or someone you know is still skeptical. I get it. Maybe you're still asking the question of the Pharisees. Why does your Jesus eat with tax collectors and sinners? And for that, let's take a look at what Jesus says to them in the first part of verse 13. But go and learn what this means. I desire mercy, not sacrifice. Here, Jesus is quoting the prophet Hosea. What he says comes from Hosea 6, 6. For I desire mercy, not sacrifice, an acknowledgement of God rather than burnt offerings. Here's the thing, friends. Sacrifice is about me. Mercy is about you. When I sacrifice, I give something up. I sacrifice my time, my money, my talents, my Saturday afternoon nap that I never get anyway. (laughs) My sacrifice takes something away from me in order to give it to someone else. You hear all that I and me in that? But mercy is about the other person. Mercy is a gift that is given from one to another. Mercy comes from a place of love, compassion, devotion, not necessarily from a place of sacrifice. Merriam-Webster defines mercy as compassion or forbearance shown especially to an offender or to one subject to one's power. Also, Lenient or Compassionate Treatment. And then from an article I found on Compassion.com, quote, But the Bible also defines mercy beyond forgiveness and withholding punishment. God shows his mercy for those who are suffering through healing, comfort, the alleviation of suffering, and caring about those in distress. He acts from compassion and acts with mercy, end quote. Mercy requires me to care, not just sacrifice. And that is the example we have from Jesus in today's scripture. Yes, he came to sacrifice his life for the forgiveness of sins, but all throughout his ministry on the way to the cross, he showed mercy, love, compassion, and caring to all the tax collectors and sinners that he encountered. And what a joy, what encouragement that we get to do the same. Thank you, friend, for being here with me today, y'all. It truly is such a blessing to be on this journey with you. And I want to know what's on your heart and what's on your mind today. So leave me a comment or send me a message and let me know. I invite you to come back and join me for our next episode where I have the awesome pleasure of speaking with black sheep turned Jesus girl, hot mess express, Tess Scott, author of the book, Listen Sister, Finding Hope in the Freak Show of Life. Let me just say that we have a lot of fun in this episode, so you don't want to miss it. Until then. Hey friend, thank you so much for joining me on the show today. It's my pleasure as always to be here with you. 
If what you listened to today resonated with you, if you enjoyed listening to the show, do me a favor, go ahead and like and subscribe to this podcast and leave a review. Those reviews are so helpful. I can't even tell you how much I appreciate each and every single one of them. And go ahead and share this episode out with a friend. Invite them along for a walk through the word and let's enjoy that daily bread together. See you tomorrow.